We got that morning voice right now, that radio, that very white. The very, the very, I'm the very white. I'm the very white, very white. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. He had a big dirty crave for BK he couldn't get rid of. It's 10 in the morning and that's what's good about BK Have It Your Way is they'll give you anything you want at any time of day. All right, we know he doesn't really do Burger King cheese, but it's unavoidable on the Big King XL. Basically the mock version of the Big Mac, but in Burger King Whopper-ish form. We got a double, we got heavy everything except for normal onions. We can't do too many stinky onions. And then of course he has a poutine here because he loves poutine and he already defaced it with ketchup, which he'll probably have to add a second layer. He's got a uh, Mark's root beer on the side, nice and fresh. And this meal is looking immaculate. Like I said, it is like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Just had the craziest crave for Burger King. So we're doing it old school styles. Me and my buddy who used to do duct cleaning together used to get 10 a.m. Whoppers. So we're having a nostalgic moment. Before we do that, inaugural <laughs> full sugar root beer at 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's do it. And it's just perfect. Okay. We don't want to spill that all over ourselves. So we put it off to the side and we get into the poutine while it's as hot as it's going to be. Right. And we listen to my throat and stomach make weird noises but here it is we got that morning voice right now that radio that very white the very the ve i'm the very white i'm the very white very white as i seduce you with the salacious material called poutine all right first bite let's do her mm-hmm Perfectly salty. BK gravy. Always got that nice sodium content that we need at 10.05 in the morning. Just perfect. All right, y'all. I got some shit that I remembered the other day from grade 10 civics class <laughs> that I was retroactively embarrassed about. You know those cringe moments in your life that just pop into your head and you're like, I thought I forgot about you, but now you're here and, uh, and they just make you shudder. This is kind of one of those. But I remember we used to, we used to, I, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was civics class. And I don't know why we'd be reading these books in civics class, but maybe it was English. It must've been English. Cause we were reading. Yeah, I guess it, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's English. It has to be English. But we used to read books. And you know how the teacher would like go around and call on people to read like, you know, a few pages or a chapter or whatever. Uh, and some people would literally just have like a panic attack and like pass out or just be like, oh, no, not me. I can't like they just wouldn't do it. Typical me just being, I guess, like the entertainer type person. And always pretty good with words and reading. I was fully up to the task. And I remember at a certain point, I started giving characters, certain characters like voices. I would go as far as doing fucking voices when I was reading aloud. And I'm pretty sure everybody probably hated me and was like, wow, dude, you're a fucking try hard cornball. And they probably weren't wrong for that. But I had to spice up school and make it enjoyable somehow. Like this is going to be enjoyable. This 
amazingly constructed burger. So we'll get a fat bite of this and get back into this tail or this, I don't know, this little piece of my high school experience. I've only been persuaded to try this burger one other time, which was last year in a truck bang. And I remember quite liking it. So I've been craving it for a few days thinking about it. Mm. And today we pull, pull the trigger. So I remember I would do that. And then one day, I think I got self-conscious about it. And if I'm honest, I think I got too baked during lunch. And then I got all in, in my head about it. That's going to be a perfect bite right there. See that loaded vicarious for you. And I started reading just normal. And this girl that I used to like, had like, had like a crush on. We were like friends. And uh, I thought maybe it could go somewhere. It never did, but we definitely had like a flirty vibe. after class she was like how come you don't do the voices anymore <laughs> she was all she's like i like when you used to do that it used to make everything more fun and i was like really i thought everybody just fucking hated it and then i got too in my head about it and so i stopped doing it she's like you should go back to doing it <laughs> So because I had like a crush on her, of course I went back to doing it. <laughs> Synth ass bitch. <laughs> what a fucking guy. Oh man. But yeah, I wasn't afraid of reading out loud. I really wasn't. I guess I've always been a pretty proficient reader and uh, orator, if you will. So it was straight up my alley. Had to flex my skills where I could because when it came to doing math, my dad used to like flip out on me. He couldn't handle how, how stupid I was at math. I remember we were doing, one day I was in the kitchen and we were doing uh, like pie charts to learn thirds, quarters, all that, eighths, and I remember there was like a circle broken down into like, into thirds, and he's like, if two of those are this, then what do you have, like, do you, like, if two of those are filled in, then is that, how, what is that, then I couldn't figure out two-thirds or 66 percent at the time I was just but it's also because like when your dad's or your dad's all mad at you about math like you can't even focus you just start to cry <laughs> you can't even think straight because your dad's just aggro you know Did any of you have agro math dads? Because I sure did. Safe to say I got it figured out eventually. But at the time I was absolutely useless.
I'm just a words and memory guy. And that brought up a, a thing that I was thinking about the other day was, uh, I can remember like the names of every class I went to, the, the specific study of it, like is it anthropology, was it um, wood woodworking, was it tech, was it civics, everything. Physics, geography. And I can remember all the way from grade one, all the way through high school, every single one of my teacher's names. Even the years where we had like a teacher that had to be, had to go on like mat leave or whatever. And then a new one came in. I can literally remember every single teacher's name and like events from every grade. And things that happened in each grading class, but I can't remember like most of the study. <laughs> Like, for example, covalent bonds. I remember covalent bonds, but that's it. I just remember covalent bonds, and I remember it being, you know, <laughs> subatomic particles that bond to each other. But, like, I don't know how people... I guess you go into your field of study, and then you become, prof like, an expert in the field. But I don't know if people actually retain most of what they learn in school. I think they get through it and then they find their career and then they're like, fuck the rest of this. I don't ever need it. I only have so much bandwidth, <laughs> you know? I find that interesting, though, the memory thing, because I know people who don't even remember the names of their previous manager or boss or people or co-workers from, like, a year ago, two years ago. They just have no recollection. And I'm like, how is that possible? I remember names of so like almost everybody I ever meet co-workers if I see you again face to face I'll know your name if I met you and wasn't absolutely wasted hammered and even then there's a good chance I will interesting how the memory works some people just do not have it at all mine is so far back and crystal clear that I can just go back to like the youngest memory in my life and go and play it like a video in my head and fast forward and just go up to this point. That's a gift and a curse. That's not the greatest thing to, to be capable of. Because you remember a lot of your cringy shit. That makes you shudder. <laughs> like reading out loud. Invoices. In class. Amongst your peers. <laughs> I 
remember one of like the cool guys who was already having all the sex just blatantly saying to me straight up, he's like, if you continue that shit up, you're never getting laid. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. I didn't get laid in high school. <laughs> I was a late bloomer, but uh, we're all good. <laughs> Made up for it in our latter years. <sighs> okay, I exposed myself a lot on this one. <clears throat> Meal was absolutely perfect. Hit the crave spot deep. Perfectly content right now. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.